Hi, girl, you look gorgeous. Thanks, girl, you too. Huh? Hey, guys, I'm so glad that it's a new day at our new school. <laughs> our school is the best. Oh, I can't wait to start learning new things. Ooh, our bus. Awesome, all aboard. <laughs> The classes are about to start. Hurry up! Did you do your homework? Of course. One plus one equals two. And two plus two equals four. Wow! Is the lesson over already? It means that I get to read. And they lived happily ever after. Wow, great story. <laughs> Oops, I'm hungry. Nah. Lunch break, lunch break! Yay! I wonder what we are having today. I'd like some veggies. There are always veggies. And fruit and meat, too. Who wants some soda? My treat. It was the best lunch ever. Hey, I know how to shake things up. Let's do some dancing. Woohoo! Gee, I love our school. Yeah, their school life has become really interesting and fun. Although, I remember everything was completely different. Until that one time. <sighs> Class? Class? Oh, please, are you listening to me at all? Gee, I'm so bored. What did you say? Teach? Uh, who knows the answer to this problem? <sighs> Whatever, let's say three? How can anyone not know that the answer is two? Correct, well done, Samuel. Meh, learning is for losers, right? I'm out of here! Hello, the lesson is not over yet. <sighs> You're right, but how can I fix it? Glad you asked. I've been thinking about this for a long time. Just a sec. This is how the school of my dreams looks. Wow, Sammy, it's amazing. One condition, I'll be the principal. Deal, let's get started. Yay! So, according to the blueprint, we should better begin with making new walls. Don't sweat about it, Sue. I've already prepared a few construction materials. <laughs> wow, they're amazing! As I see, you've long been wanting to become a school principal, huh? You know me! Ah, uh, make way! The rainbow stairs! Check! Let's put it right here. Ah, perfect! Building a new school is really energy consuming! Isn't it time for a lunch break? Since I'm the mastermind of this whole thing, I can't stay hungry! And I managed to make this! I thought this was supposed to be a blackboard! But it looks like it's missing something. <laughs> Just what I need, thanks. Now it's pretty easy to put it all together. I want to give it a test run. Wonderful. And here's the perfect place for it. But our dolls are not very tall. We need something to make it easier for them to reach the blackboard. Um. Don't worry, I already thought everything through. Okay, what should we do next? <gasps> Susan, are you okay? Are you sick? Aha! Right, you better put on a mask. I appreciate your concern, Sammy, but I'm fine. I just got glitter in my nose. <laughs> and this mask will make excellent blinds for the windows. Check this out. Hey, I don't see anything. We have to hurry up. We haven't even started to work on the desks for the students. Yes, it is very important. Let's make them beautiful and stylish. These legs will prevent our desks from rocking. Here comes the second one. Very well. Let's put it in its place. We have a desk, so we need a chair. <laughs> Here, have a look. I made it in no time. Cool, can you hold it, please? I will use it as a reference. Don't forget about the legs, Susie. Thanks. Oh, what would I do without you? These two look great together. But only one desk won't be enough for the whole school. That's why we've made a few more. Ah, uh, these books are so heavy. No wonder our students stopped reading. That is why we will make a spacious backpack. This way, our dolls will carry around everything they need to study well. And, of course, it's going to look cute. Just check out this decor I came up with. We shouldn't forget about shoulder straps as well. Here we go. Great. Well. The weight of the books doesn't seem to be a problem anymore. Aw, why don't I have such a backpack? And Sam takes the field again? This is his first game of the season. Sue, however, is a rookie. Let's see how she will perform in this game. Uh-huh. 
I know exactly what to do with this. Let's give our clay ball a nice rollout. Here we go. Oh no, what is she doing? Ah, this is a dark day for all who like to kick the ball. Oh, Sammy, stop being so overdramatic. You know our students need a new school bus. Just look how bright it will be. It is beautiful, Sue, but at what cost? Come on, don't be sad, Sammy. We'll play ball later. I promise. You're right. There's no time to be sad. Construction works don't wait. Yay! That's the spirit. And one more piece of clay goes over here. There are so many different parts. It is so easy to get confused. But not for an experienced crafter. There we go. I think I'm blind. I can't see help. <laughs> Sammy, stop fooling around. Come on, Sue. It was funny, wasn't it? Okay, okay, you're right. There should always be a moment for a good laugh. <laughs> I can make it. I know I can make it. Stay focused, Sam. Ow! The wheels are done. And they are perfect. Thank you, Sammy. What do you say, friends? Do you like our bus? Susie, I found a perfect spot for the library. Could you give me a hand? Sure. Oh, you're right. This spot is perfect. And now, of course, we need books. I love reading about space in different fairy tale worlds. Three, two, one, and the book cover's done. <laughs> This book is about something really cute. It's called The Adventures of a Pink Teddy Bear. I'd love to read it. And you, Sammy? Yeah, the title sounds interesting. But there should be a comfy space to enjoy the books. You mean like this? Yes. <laughs> the bookcase looks a bit empty, though. <laughs> now we're talking. I want to add a few more details to make this library a really relaxing place. Yo, teach! Let's make some noise! During breaks, of course. I don't mind it at all. It looks amazing. Um... I'm kind of thirsty. Do we have a water dispenser or something? Not yet, but you actually just gave me an awesome idea. We simply have to make a vending machine for the school cafeteria. What do you think? This way our dolls will be able to choose whatever they want. <sighs> While you were talking, I ran out to the store and bought everything. <laughs> cool. This is just what we need. Oh, weren't you thirsty? That's right. Like a true crafter, I forgot about my own needs while I'm busy creating. <laughs> true. In the meantime, our vending machine is done. I like it. Me too. Hey, wait a minute. How do I get a cold from there? Easy peasy. And this is where the cafeteria will be. Yum! Desserts from my favorite bakery. And here's something not so sweet. Sue, we have to speed up. Our students will arrive soon. <gasps> Don't panic, Sammy. We're almost done. Ugh, we forgot about this. Whoa! Nearly dropped it. There should be a place for the girls to store their belongings. Oh, you're so thoughtful. And here's a surprise from me. Our new school uniform will include fancy hats. I'm sure the girls will love this idea. Now let's cut out the bottom for our future hat. And here comes its top. Would you just look how beautiful it turns out? And it fits in here perfectly. Hey, Susie, what do you say? Doesn't it look good on me? Hey! Sorry, Sammy, but let's leave them for our students, okay? They also can keep their backpacks over here. Ow, so cute. And these are so their legs don't get tired from a long school day. I'll put a couple more pairs of sleepers over here. Great! And this is the garage for the school bus. Awesome!
Let's all dance with the shapes. I am a circle. Spin around, spin around in a circle on the ground. I am a triangle. Clap your hands in the air. Triangles everywhere. Everybody draw a square, draw it here, draw it there. Everybody draw a square. I am a rectangle. Bounce everybody, bounce like you just don't care. What's it going to be? Wait and we will see a shape for you and me. I am a rectangle. Yay! Look at these two pictures. How many differences can you spot? One. Two. Three, four, that's right, there are four differences. Well done, Rectangle. It's time to get back on the shelf. Surprise Party Popper! If you want to make a colourful cardboard cottage, all you need to do is... Take a small cardboard tube and pinch the end together. Then stick it with a piece of sticky tape. Cut the corner off an old envelope for a roof, then cut out a rectangle shape for a chimney. Stick the chimney to the roof, And stick the roof to the tube like this. Add stickers for windows and a door. And use a pen to add extra details. Your colourful cardboard cottage is finished and ready to play with. What a brilliant idea, Scraps! And you can make any type of cardboard cottage you like. Wow, Mathilde, I love your cottage. It looks like a Mr. Maker cottage. How did you make all the spots on the roof? Um, they were like these little sticker um, spots. Very nice. And what shapes have you made for the windows? Hearts. Very nice, Mathilde. Well done. Now, Gyra's house is very, very sparkly. And what's this up here, Gyra? It's smoke coming out. How did you make that? I teared some paper up. Oh, that's very good. I wish I lived in this house. Phoenix, what do you like about your house? I like the wonderful purple wrapping paper and the stickers I put on the roof. I think you're right. It looks brilliant. And now, my friends, for something completely different, follow me. Come on, everyone. Yeah! This way. Come on, my friends. That's it. <laughs> now, you are about to make a brilliant party picture. Have a look at the screen and see if you can guess what it is. What picture are today's mini makers making? <laughs> Any ideas yet? Do you think it could be? It's a lighthouse! That's right, it's a lovely lighthouse. Well done, Mini Makers. <laughs> and that sound means it's time to play an arty party, party game! game! Yeah! Yeah! So it's over to Party Cam to find out which Mini Makers are playing today. Let's find out. Thomas! Yeah! And last but not least, off you go. Amy! Yeah! You've been chosen for a very special arty challenge. Yeah! Today, my friends, you're going to be building a colourful city like this one here 
but the difference is your city is going to be a really big one. That's right, you're going to build a city using all of these different colourful shapes. Now, Amy, Thomas and Danya, do you think you can do it? Yeah! I think so too, but you've got to be really quick. You must finish building your city before Scraps makes this noise. <laughs> Get ready. <laughs> Go! Ah, you've got one, Thomas. Stick it on, my friend. Brilliant. <laughs> Keep going, Mini Makers. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> Danya, maybe you can help Amy. That's it. It's a very tall one. That's it. have built a brilliant city. That was fantastic. But now it's time to tidy up. So get started, Mini Makers, and I'll help you too. This is Fun Fingertips, the part of the programme where we show you something that's fun to make and fun to do. And today, it's Pinball Wizardry. Now, it has all the thrills and spills of pinball with a touch of magic that will have you playing for hours. Hey, it looks great, doesn't it, with all these turrets and towers? Now, you may think it looks very complicated, but it all started out as a storage box, some plastic bottles, an egg box and a cardboard tube. Now, we started things off by sticking a piece of coloured card into the base of our storage box, and then you want to make a hole in one side of the box, big enough to fit your snake tube. Now, your snake tube is made from a kitchen roll tube, and in one end, you cut three centimetres in into, like, a scoop shape. Your ball is going to be launched through this end of the snake tube and out through the snake's mouth. And to make it look like a snake's mouth, just put a V in either side. And in a moment, you're going to stick that into position just there. OK, I'll get decorating this while you explain the mechanism, Steve. OK, now the fire mechanism is really easy. What you do is make a hole halfway up either side of your big hole that you've already made. Uh, so let's do this side there. There we go with a sharp pen. So make sure your fingers are clearly out the way. Then get an elastic band and place it through one side and get it to come out the other side with your pencil again. Again, make sure your fingers a well clear of this. There we go. And to secure it in place, just get a cocktail stick. This is really clever. All you do, pop it through the loop and pull it back, and there you go. Your elastic band is secure. Now, for the actual firing device, you get another elastic band and secure a bead onto one end, and you just double this around your first elastic band like that. Pop the bead through the loop, and if you pull, it should be securely on like that. That's all right, isn't it? Then that will fire your ball. Now, while you have a sharp pencil handy, you want to get a bit of bottling clay, place that onto your table so you don't damage it, as you make a hole through the box just there. And you'll need that hole in just a second for your tilting wizard's hat. How are you getting on, Fern? Brilliantly, thanks, Steve. Look, one incredibly decorated firing snake. And I've got the scoring cups here. These are just cups cut from an egg box, which we've decorated with a spiderweb design. And for the scoring hat in the middle there, you just want to get a semicircle of card and fold it round into a cone shape. And you want to make it big enough so that a ping pong ball can fit nicely inside like that. Once you know the size of it, get a bit of sticky tape and secure it into place. And then to make your hat tilt, you want to get a cocktail stick with a little bead glued onto one end. Then just poke this right the way through your wizard's hat, through the top bit there and right through the other side. And now it's time to decorate the base. Now, we've added turrets and rooftops at the back, and we're going to have a tower in each corner, one just there and one over this side. Now, these are really easy. Look, it's just a water bottle covered in corrugated card with a cone roof on the top, so let's put that in place. And for the wall, just get a strip of card and secure it in place with some double-sided sticky tape there and there. That's looking all right. And you get a curved shape because of the towers at the back. 
And here's an added touch. In your strip of card, cut out battlements to give it a more castle feel. And of course, no castle would be complete without a dungeon. We have one too made out of a triangular yoghurt pot just here. Make sure your ball doesn't go in there, otherwise... No points. You ready for this lot now, Steve? Here we go. OK, there's your firing snake. Right, secure it in place. Bit of sticky tape on his belly. That goes just there. And we've got the scoring cups here too. Now, it's a good idea if you just stick them on with some sticky tack, first of all, because then you can have a play around and see where you want to position them, and then you can glue them in once you're happy with the position of them. And we've also got a bastion. This is very important. If you just stick that there, it will stop the ball from rolling right the way round the wall into the dungeon every time, so it'll help you out a bit. Now, you need to raise the game slightly if you just help yeah. me out there Steve there yeah. we go and now you can attach your wizard's hat now to help it tilt you need a little bead just like this and that's going to go right underneath your wizard's hat so it'll help it tilt more smoothly and check out this one we've even added some cork turrets covered in card a lolly stick gate and don't forget to add your scores. But now, Miss Cotton, are you ready for a rematch? Whatever you are, Mulhern. Let's see if I've still got the magic touch. This is Little Fingertips, the part of the programme where we show you how to recycle stuff you can most probably find around your house. And today, it's frames. And with a little bit of fingertips know-how, you can transform dull frames like this into these. How cool do they look? Now, they look great in your bedroom, and the other thing is you can also give them away as presents for your friends. Now, to make them, of course, you need to get your fingertips on a frame. Most frames will work. You can use mirror frames, picture frames, but the chunkier, the better. Then you need to get some of this stuff. It's called fixing grout for tiles, and you want to scoop some onto a plate, and you need as much that you think will cover your frame. So let's do a couple more of these, whack it on there. And you can buy coloured grout, or you can do what I'm going to do, and that's colour it yourself. So just pour on some acrylic paint and then give it a good old mix. And keep going until you get a nice consistent colour like this. Now it's time to paste it onto your frame. Get yourself a plastic knife and just scoop it up and then paste it on. It's just like you're buttering a slice of bread. Get a bit more there. There we go. And don't worry if any goes onto your glass because all you do is get a damp cloth and give it a wipe and you get a nice, neat finish. And keep going until your frame is completely covered. And when it is and the grout is still wet, you can now decorate your frame. I'm going to use a couple of marbles. Let's put this one here, this one here. Of course, you can decorate it however you like. Maybe use your favourite colour, or if you've got a style to your bedroom, let me put on a couple of these mosaic tiles. Make it look as good as you want. Let your imagination run wild. Now, just leave it to dry. It really does look cool, doesn't it? And it's so easy to make. Here's another technique that you can try out. If you cover your frame in uncoloured grout and then paint it your favourite colour, then get yourself some sandpaper. Watch this, right? Go over the top of the area that you painted, and then you see you get this very cool, streaky effect. It looks so good, doesn't it? And there's some other designs as well. If you come over here, this is a completed streaky version. That looks very good. Um, also, this is a great idea. Look, foreign coins from when you've been on holiday. Also, you could theme your frames. Uh, how about this one? Look, a magic frame. That's for my living room. And what about a multicoloured frame with the streaky effect? They do look superb. So why don't you give it a go? Ditch your doll frames, and with a bit of fingertips know-how, you can make a funky filler frame. We've been arty at our arty party. Are you ready? Your just began! Right, our party's over, but your arty fun is just beginning. It's time to put the party pad back in its box. See you soon, everyone. Bye! Bye.